Students in the Wabash Valley are working on a big project. The class is spending the next year building a home. They're learning important skills and networking for the future. News 10's Rachel Law explains the unique opportunity. Building an entire house with your classmates is a unique experience most high schoolers don't get to have. But through this construction class, both Park County and Vermilion County students are making memories and setting themselves up for the future. Just across the street from South Vermilion High School is the big construction project. Students are working hard each school day to get as much done as they can. It will take nearly three semesters to build, meaning different students will take part in each step. South Vermilion senior Liam Heber says the class helped him decide his future plans. He planned on being an engineer and then I came here and I, I realized how, how fun it was and I got to actually work with my hands so I kind of switched that pretty quick. Now Heber has plans to go into construction management at Indiana State University. He and many other students in the program will take similar paths. Instructor Rodney Clark is encouraged by how hard his students work each day. He owns a construction company and tends to hire his best students out of high school. Many kids here are not going to go to college and this is an opportunity then for them to really step into a program that they can actually have a nice living with it. Clark shared many of his students will go on to work for the union and at the lumber yard. He says trade careers are a growing interest for Vermilion and Park County students. For Clark's students, the class is an introduction to a future career. I think it's a blast. I think the day's so much fun just coming out here and working and hanging out with a bunch of guys that you met. While the house is just getting started, it'll be done before you know it. We'll be sure to keep you updated when the house is finished. You don't want to miss out on the results. In Vermilion County, Rachel Law. News 10.